to the movement. Welcome to the consummation and beautiful beginnings of all things. Beautiful people, welcome to just remaining. What the love of can really embody eating and breaking bread and community. For me to have a Black Chef series was an opportunity to really highlight and embrace being of Caribbean background and also of the cultural influences of Africa and what it means to be Black in kitchens and cooking. I want people to take away the know that they were a part of a special night. They witnessed the first time the three of us creating nine courses, not five, not three, nine courses at a price point that is reasonable. My name is Bashir Mounier. I'm a chef. Uh, I'm a culinary professor at Joburn College, and I'm a food advocate with 25 years experience in Toronto. I'm Chef Adrian Forte. I'm a chef, recipe developer, and culinary consultant. I don't consider my cooking to be Caribbean in a sense. If it was to be considered Caribbean, it would be contemporary Caribbean or contemporary Canadian because I am Canadian. I happen to also be Jamaican by ethnicity. So the food that I do is called Nomadi Cuisine. It speaks about my own heritage as a Somali person. There isn't really much of a conversation around continental African food or Pan-African cuisine. Some of the dishes that I'm bringing, it kind of reflects on my own heritage and the things that I've been experiencing. We started off with all these like cool ideas as to what we wanted to do. And then we thought, you know what, let's keep it like funky and fresh and let's pull certain ingredients that are like indigenous to certain areas and certain regions of Africa. Let's pull ingredients that are indigenous to the Caribbean and then make it make sense, you know, connect it. Let Canada be the conduit that connects all these ingredients and these recipes. I think everybody will be able to, to get a sense of who we are individually and what we really are talking about in our food. And then cooking together and celebrating our blackness. That for me is like, you know, it's an opportunity to shine. One of the great joys of my job, one of the privileges is the people that you meet here. But I just want to say to you and to Bashir and Adrian, um, you know, it's, it's so important in this city that people see themselves in every different walk of life, every profession, every business. We have a long way to go before we're able to say we're the most inclusive city in the world, but we're admired, I think, for the progress we're trying to make, and you're a big part of that. So thank you very much, and uh, drink up and eat up and have fun, everybody. Thank you so much. One is uh, the national dish of Somalia, which is like hilibari, which means, basically means goat meat. So today we made a steamed goat shoulder with Somali spices called hawashi. I made a pickled tongue and also I'm making a, a goat broth, kind of like a consomme. So that's the dish all around my own heritage as a Somali person. I'm married to a lovely woman from Barbados. So I'm doing a fried cassava stuffed with a white fish and it's gonna be with a little coconut chutney as well. And then the last dish that I'm doing is called the Wagashi cheese. It's the first African cheese made in Canada. Uh, it's made from a company in Montreal called La Mouton. The texture is similar between paneer and uh, halloumi. Uh, we're gonna pan fry it, we're gonna serve it with a, a pumpkin peanut stew. I'm doing a Escovich oyster, so you essentially take a vinegar base comprised of like bay leaves and garlic and peppercorns and you create this very voluptuous liquid that goes over fried fish. I've taken that base and I've turned it into a mignonette by adding my own fermented pineapple vinegar that I'm, I've been making since uh, last year of July. And then for this oyster, so it's going to get the pineapple vinaigrette, it's going to get some um, pickled heirloom carrots, some fresh pearl onions and a little bit of sprinkle of um, some fresh thyme on top. There's a little bit of a kick from the scotch bonnets, but uh, I think it's a good way to start off the meal and it's being accompanied by a coconut mojito to like cool it down once you get that heat. My other item I'm doing tonight is a rum coconut wash spiced chicken. So I'm marinating my chicken with, uh, with green seasoning and then I'm gonna also add some Jamaican uh, overproof rum to brine my chicken. It's gonna get a nice sear on the grill. It's gonna be served with uh, some Jamaican yams that I was lucky enough to get imported. The yams are roasted with some thyme and some pepper. I'm doing a mango beurre blanc, which is essentially a mango emulsion and it's gonna get finished with some crispy uh, chicken skin on top and some pickled scotch bonnets that I've also pickled since last year and um, some pickled red onions. My last dish I'm doing is a, a plantain beignet. So essentially I've made a, a plantain for federal using parade plantains and flour and 
nutritional yeast, etc. Uh, it's going to be stuffed with a plant and custard. And then at the base of the plate, I'm doing a uh, hibiscus or sorrel ginger reduction, a little bit of powdered thyme, and then it's finished with some fresh mint just to add a little brightness to the dish. You know, I started out as a baker. I had a little small bakery in Brooklyn. So all three of my courses have baking as the main ingredient. So that to me was really important to be able to go back to, you know, a bit of my starting roots in a space that was comfortable, um, a sense of calm because of, that's what I feel baking does for me. And, you know, I think it complements every, every course that, you know, each chef are doing. It is so personal for us and I think that we're really putting us on the plate, which is important for me to say that and to share that because we don't always get a chance to do that. So the fact that we can do that tonight here at True True, all is well. This is For the Love Of. This was our first, this was our launch. This was the kickoff and I think we might do this again. <laughs> I think when we first thought about who we were gonna bring on, it was automatic, um, the two of these outstanding, amazing chefs. And um, I just honored, I'm in awe of what you both bring to the city of Toronto, but also the global conversation around what's going on with food and what's going on with black food and what's going on with uh, people of color and how we are making strides up and down and we are paving the way for the next generation. And we are inspired.